Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well today. I do realize it's been almost a month since I uploaded any new content in my channel and the reason being is because I was overburdened with a lot of priorities in my life which needed taken care of from projects to workload and I realized that I had to focus on just those things and get it done before I could post suitable and good content again. Right now my schedule has freed up and I am going to be posting a lot of new content for you guys. So today's video is going to be about what to wear during winter in Canada. As you guys have seen in my stories that it's been snowing in Calgary on and off for the past month. It's minus 11 degrees today. It snowed again the whole of yesterday snowed completely and I've decided to do a video to show you guys what we wear during winter as it was asked by a lot of you guys and I'm going to get right to it. So let's get started. So first up is the outerwear which are the jackets. Now there are two types of jackets, long jackets and short jackets depending on your preferences. We have both of them. I prefer the long ones and my husband Kazi, he prefers the shorter ones. And our jackets are not downfill jackets. So downfill jackets are jackets which are made of duck or goose feathers and they're really expensive. Uh, downfill jacket, if you were to buy it in, let's say the cheaper stores, it would cost you at least around 200 to 300 dollars but all our jackets are bought from Bangladesh we did not spend any money on jackets over here and the ones which we got from Bangladesh we are surviving with it and it's our second winter this year and I'll show you how we are surviving with the jackets which we got from Bangladesh so I'll start off with my husband's jacket first he likes to wear a short jacket which comes up till your waist and this is how the jacket looks like. So it's a windbreaker and the material is polyester. So what he likes to do is he likes to wear hoodies inside this jacket. One, because there is no outer hoodie to cover your head. So what he does is when it's minus two to minus 10, he will be wearing a hoodie which looks like this. And he will be wearing a t-shirt underneath the hoodie. And then he will be wearing this jacket. So when it's your first winter, you guys take all the precautions you can. You can layer up two or three, two more times inside this hoodie and then wear the hoodie and then wear the jacket. So it will keep you warm till minus 10. These jackets are good for minus 10. Now, I'll show one of my jackets. So I like the longer jackets because I like to cover till my thighs. Obviously, if you have longer jackets, it will keep your thighs warmer. But it's again up to your preference. Guys, a lot of the guys just like to waist. I like it long. I've seen even guys wear long ones. I've seen girls wear shorter ones. So it actually just depends on your preference. And even this is a windbreaker, meaning that it will prevent the wind from blowing you apart and the wind really coming at you. So it even has these things underneath the windbreaker which will you know close your hands like this so it will lock your hands and you won't feel the wind going inside your hands and this is really good what I tend to do is I like to wear a sweater and I even wear a t-shirt or two underneath it and sometimes I even like to wear it with an open hoodie which is again long and I just wear it inside this so I have coverage for two hoodies and this jacket is also good for minus 10 
it can go up to minus 15 so the key is to layer underneath your jackets so if you are planning to get jackets from Bangladesh and I strongly recommend all the newcomers who are coming to Calgary or Canada to see if it's available in your country and best to buy it from your home country because this jacket only costed us 1500 taka and it was bought from Bongo Bajar. My dad actually went and got this. You need to bargain obviously if you go to these sort of places. And this jacket, even in like the cheap stores over here, costs 3,000 taka. So that's uh, $50 compared to $20 back home, if that makes any sense. So it is a huge save if you are bringing your family with you to Canada and you need to save money. I think you guys should get the jackets from back home. So another combination which I wanted to show you guys, now it's for like a little bit of lesser temperatures. So this jacket as you saw is heavy, while as this is lighter. This is also my husband's jacket and it is short. So sometimes when you are walking in winter and you are carrying a backpack, you do need your outer wears to be as light as possible so that it can keep you warm and also not take your energy by being too heavy and then you know it will get irritating so he layers up inside this when it gets colder like minus 15 he layers it up with this and then he wears this and then he wears this so there are three hoodies, two thick hoodies and one outerwear jacket and he wears one or two inch t-shirts underneath it. Now the layering up completely depends on your body temperature, your preferences. Some people may feel colder, some people may feel warmer. So it completely depends on you. What I would suggest is if it's your first winter, Take all the precautions you can, even if you think that you are overdoing it because we used to wear like 3-4 layers in minus 2 to minus 10 last year. Since we didn't have an idea what the temperature was like as we shifted from a tropical country where we've never seen snow and we lived in deserts before, so we took all the precautions we could. But now that we are here in our second winter, we do realize that it's not as cold from minus 2 to minus 10, at least for us. So we don't layer up as much as we did last winter. But if you are a newcomer, I think you should layer up at least 3-4 layers. And then obviously when you layer up, if you feel hot, you can always open those layers. But it's safer to just layer up all the time. And then understand how or what the temperatures work for you and adjust your clothing accordingly. Now, there are two to three times in Calgarian winter where it will go from minus 30 to minus 40. And yes, the schools are not closed, work still happens, everything is still running and the city does not shut down unless it's COVID, but the city generally does not shut down due to minus 30 to minus 40 temperatures and that's when you really need to keep yourself warm especially if you're using a public transit and you don't have a car so these jackets they're only good till up to minus 15 ish but if you go beyond that you either need to layer up more or you can get a thicker jacket so i got this really thick jacket i think this jacket itself weighs like four kgs or something and I got this from Bangladesh again. So it's like really fluffy. So it's gonna prevent the wind from the snow coming at you. And it will also prevent you from getting cold as it has cotton wool lining. So you can see it has like fur inside it. And I survived with this in minus 30 to minus 40 temperatures. So it did make a huge difference for me and I wore at least three layers underneath this to keep myself warm and it was tough two weeks because the temperature in Calgary it 
keeps changing from minus 1 to minus 40 during winter. Sometimes it can even be positive due to Chinook winds. So we have Chinook winds over here. And when it reaches minus 30 to minus 40 and lasts for a week, then all of a sudden the Chinook winds come and they um, blow in the city and it becomes positive again. So that's the really good part about living in Calgary because we do see plus temperatures in winter, but you have to survive minus temperatures. And for that, you need a really heavy duty jacket to survive. So make sure to get these sort of jackets from your country. If it's available, look for it. Make sure that it has fur inside it. It's heavy. And even this has a locking uh, in your hands. Can't really see because it's thin, but it does lock your hands to prevent the winter wind from getting into your body. So now I wanted to show you what we layer it up with. Now for minus two to minus 10, just a jeans is okay to wear, I think. But my husband sometimes feels cold, so he wears something called the long johns or thermals. You can find thermals in Bangladesh. This was from Bangladesh. But if you don't find the thermals back home, you can just get them from Walmart or Superstore or any convenience store. And they will have this for $10 to $15, depending on where you get it from. And they will have a t-shirt and they will also have a long johns. So my husband feels really cold and he wears it underneath his jeans or pants. But till minus 10, I don't wear anything underneath my jeans. After minus 10, I do wear the long johns because they do tend to get colder. So it depends again on your preference, but this is a must have if it goes above minus 15 because you do need to keep your legs warm as well. And another thing which I wanted to show you guys is this pant which my husband wears when it's minus 15 or above so he wears this underneath it and then a jeans and then this on top of the jeans uh, the reason being because it's obviously too cold and another reason is because when it's snowing and the snow can be dirty especially if it's been a few days so to prevent his work clothes from being dirty he wears this on top and it prevents the work clothes from being dirty. And this is a good way if you wanted to uh, layer up and also be clean. And for inside wears, I would say that this is normally what I wear, a sweater. And when it gets colder, I'll wear a t-shirt, but it's thicker than normal t-shirts. It's like a sweater t-shirt and I'll wear a t-shirt underneath this and then I will wear this hoodie and then I will wear one of the outer wears. So I do layer up a lot and I think this has also prevented both of us from falling sick because we are very careful and this has really helped us from enjoying the weather and not falling sick at all. One more thing which I wanted to show you guys is this sort of sweatshirt. So this is again from Bangladesh. My friend and her husband actually gave me this. Thank you guys. And I got this over here and it, it has really helped me. So it's like a sweatshirt. What I wear is a t-shirt or two inside it. And since it's made of wool again, I wear this on top and then I wear one of the jackets and it has worked for me for at least till minus 10. So you can even look into these sort of things. The preference really depends on you. My husband likes hoodies a lot. So he likes to wear hoodies underneath his outer jackets. Either way, all of our outer jackets are from Bangladesh. We haven't spent any money on outer jackets. So outer jackets meaning these they are all from Bangladesh and if you can find it back home, I highly recommend you guys in getting those jackets and not spending money over here because you do need money for other things. And if something is available back home, 
it's better to just get it from there. Let's move on to number two, snow boots. Very, very important in surviving these harsh winter conditions. And you have to really invest on a snow boot. And you can't, well, we couldn't find any snow boots from back home. If you're able to find, do let us know by posting a comment below so that I can help the others out. But we didn't find any and we came and we bought the winter boots over here. So one thing which you need to look for a winter boot, I'm just going to show you this. Since I hike, I got a hiking winter boot. So it's waterproof. The water is not going to get inside my shoes. It's high top. It has tractions. So these are what you really need in a winter boot. If you see tractions like these, they are going to help your feet stay on the ground and not slip. And this is very important when buying a winter boot. So for winter boots in Canada, it's really what you pay is what you get. If you buy cheaper winter shoes, like let's say 30 to 50 or $60, they're only going to last you one winter, not going to last you in minus 20 temperatures and below. So you need to really invest in your winter shoes from 100 to whatever your budget can be from there, but it needs to be at least a minimum of $100. And I'll show you one which I got with $90. And this was from Winners, a cheap outlet store, which is available all around the city. So it has all the brands, but they sell it for a lesser price than the other stores. You're not going to find your size, so you need to keep looking. And the collection are nice, but they are pretty limited. So you need to keep looking in Winners to get the right size, be it jackets or shoes. But I got this and it lasted me the entire winter in minus 20, minus 30, minus 40. And the shoe, I'm sorry, this is a little dirty right now um, since it was worn till last winter and the dust and snow dust has been on it. But this is how the shoes look like. Also wanted to show you my husband's shoes. So he got one winter boot because you know guys they don't like to spend in a lot of them they just like one winter boot with a lot of money put into it so his one was really expensive he got sorrel and he didn't spend any money rather than the one which i'm just showing to you i spent money for like two or three winter boots two of them are <laughs> did not last and lesson learned so I am telling you guys, make sure you guys invest on a good winter boot as it's going to last you at least two to three winters and don't go spending money on the $30, $40 winter boots. They look nice, but they're not going to last you in the winter and not above minus 10. So his one's waterproof too, and it has wool in it and it's Sorel. So it's a really good brand. And this is how the winter boot should look like. It's high top. So moving on to number three, which are toques and scarves. So you might be wondering what a toque is. A toque is a beanie and Canadians call beanies as toques. You can wear this to cover your ears. My husband doesn't like wearing it though because he prefers the hoodies cap as it's easier to just wear it make it tight and then when you don't need it you can just put it down and it's hanging whereas for a toque it's like open remove wear remove wear remove so it depends on your preferences i don't wear a beanie because i have my hijab so what i do is i got this from dollarama and i wear this on top when it's too windy and then i wear the hoodie on so this are the ear muffs but they cover my ears and it was only four dollars from dollarama and i found this really useful so if you are a hijabi and you're looking for alternatives this could be a good alternative show you guys that socks are really important especially thermal socks during winter as your fingers and your toes are the weak points in your body and also your nose so you do need to cover your toes with really thick socks and you can find them in winners you can find them in dollarama dollarama sells it from two to four dollars 
since it's a dollar store and winners sell it for like five to ten dollars and you can find at least like a few pairs for yourself rotate and wear in winter it will keep your toes warm and another thing which i wanted to show you guys are neck warmers so you can either wear a scarf to cover your neck and your nose or you can even wear something like a neck warmer so what this neck warmer is it's basically you just put it in here on top of your head and there you go <laughs> it looks like it's really cold in here but no guys it's not i'm inside the house but this is how it looks like and you can even cover your nose by like this and your neck is covered and you're safe so this is how it looks like or you can go with the classic scarf that's my husband's city supporter <laughs> and you can just wrap your scarf and okay I have like hijab so he just wraps it he double wraps it covers his nose so you can even do that whatever works for you I use a neck warmer I even have a longer scarf this is a shorter scarf so this was from Bangladesh and this is from Dollarama um, this is only four dollars you can even find cheaper scarves over here but we just happened to buy our scarves from Bangladesh and we just got them and the last one for today are gloves now I cannot stress how gloves are so important especially if you have no car and you're in Calgary and you're walking all the time because your fingers freezing is the last thing you want it to be it gets really irritating and you don't want your fingers to have frostbite and falling off so first I'll start off with the gloves according to their temperatures if you are from minus 2 to plus 5 then these simple gloves will keep your fingers warm so I got these from Saudi Arabia they're way back got them in seventh grade they're still with me but yeah these are the simple ones you can get them anywhere and my husband got his one from winners this was I think ten dollars and these are the first type of gloves now when it gets colder you have to invest on a good glove so last year since it was our first winter we didn't know the types of gloves which was needed and unfortunately we survived with these but I do not recommend it for you guys get thicker gloves so I got this later it was a mitten and mittens keep you warm it has wool inside it so you can either have this this is more like a girls type thing I don't see guys wearing it so much and you can even extend it when it gets colder hello <laughs> okay and um, if you want to get simple pair of gloves which are going to keep your hands warm in minus 30 to minus 40 temperatures then you should invest on ski gloves this we got it this year because after surviving winter last year we realized we need to spend money on gloves and we got this from Canadian Tire so it does have 3M thin insulin in it and it does say that it's going to keep you warm till minus 40 since these are ski gloves and used for outdoor activities you can find it according to your size and it's perfect my husband has been wearing them to work and he sometimes walks to his workplace since it's near to our place and especially in the morning when he's late and he has been wearing late. this I'm and never late. And he has been wearing this. I'm never late. And he has been wearing this to work. And he said that it has really kept his fingers warm and he hasn't felt anything. It's really good, guys. Invest on good ski gloves. Only $30 and it will last you for at least three winters or more, depending on how well you keep it. So this was my video today. I hope it was very informative for you guys and you guys can decide what to buy, have an idea of what to wear during winter and if you do have any questions 
do leave it in the comments below. Also go follow my Instagram account. It will be on the screen. I do post my outfits and our stories over there. We will be going to a different city in two days. So stay tuned for that. I will be posting a lot of stories and see if you guys can take a wild guess where we're going next. Follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've liked this video today. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much guys for sticking with me. Hope to see you all in my next video. Till then, bye.